Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again and feeling much better today guys. And back again with another classic Frankie Tag video. It's been a while since I've done the top down format and today I bring you my N22 throttling test between the Redmi K40 Game Enhanced Edition, the Mi 11i and the Poco F3. And in this test we will see three chipsets competing against each other but for the first time ever we're going to see a Dimensity 1200 in this test as well. Now guys it's been pretty tough trying to review this Redmi Game Enhanced Edition but this is one test that I'm still going to be able to do now that I've downloaded N22 on this phone let's not waste any time and see how does this Dimensity 1200 compare to the Snapdragon 888 and the Snapdragon 870. Let's have a look. All right, folks, so you know the drill. We'll be running four and two tests on these phones, and we'll have the CPU monitor in the background, and I'll be measuring the external temps after each test with my thermometer as well. All right, so zoomed in now here on these phones, and hopefully they won't be sliding around all over the place. Ready to start this test. Ignore these initial results, and let's go ahead and test, 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 test number one. Here we go. Okay, test number one completed, but before we talk about the scores, let's go check the CPU monitor for these phones immediately. 45, 47, 45. So all these phones in a similar range right here. A lot of you guys did mention you wanted me to measure the temperatures immediately once the test was done. 40.5, 41.9, 39.3. And so now looking at the results, 606,777 and 668. So take these scores as the benchmark and now let's go ahead right into test number two it's around 24 degrees in this room and they're starting to slide guys they're starting to slide let's go right into it test number two on these phones here we go All right guys, test number two completed and we've seen a few drops here, but once again, let's go straight to the CPU monitor to check the temperature of these phones. 50, 52, and 50. So they're getting hot guys, but look at this, the gaming edition is still a bright display versus these two. And measuring the external temp, 43.8, 44.9, 42.6. So now let's go and re-explore those scores. And you see it very clearly, guys, that these two phones, these slippery suckers, have dimmed their displays, the Mi 11i and the Poco F3, 596, 713, 659. But let's not waste any time, go to test number three, and see how much these phones truly drop in this intense Antutu throttling test. Here we go. All right, test number three completed, and once again, straight to CPU monitor. Here we go. 53, 53, 50. So these chipsets are all handling it. They're not getting too hot, but they definitely are dimming the displays on these phones while the game edition is not. External temps, 41.1. So all these displays are getting hot and starting to dim. And so now looking at the results, we see a bigger drop here for the gaming edition. And now let's do it, guys. Test number four. And you notice the temperature has gone up quite a bit in this room. We're now at 27 degrees here. So let's wrap this up, test number four, and let's see the final results of this N22 throttling test. Okay, test number four completed. And once again, straight to the CPU monitor to check the temperatures, 53. 55, 51, so the gaming edition got the hottest, and now finally it has dimmed its display. Final external measurement, 47.9, that's pretty hot, 45.9, 43 degrees. So the Poco F3 has definitely stayed the coolest of the bunch, and there we see the final scores and a pretty shocking result here on the K40 gaming edition. Somehow it has jumped up quite a bit, while the Snapdragon 888 in the Mi 11i has dipped quite a lot. But you know what? The most steady of all these is definitely being 
the Poco F3, but let's talk about these final results and get to it. So here we go guys, the final verdict in this test and this slippery Mi 11i has been going all over the place. But here we go guys, an interesting result here, but in third place it's crystal clear which phone came in last and that is none other than the Mi 11i. With the Snapdragon 888, this phone dipped over 100,000 points, the only phone to do so, and it also did get pretty hot as well. But you know what, the temperatures weren't the concern here, it was more the drop in score. And of course, looking at the battery, and the battery also dipped to 77%, so a 23% drop for this phone. And it just proves to me guys, the Snapdragon 888 does power up quite a bit, but eventually does throttle, it just can't stand the heat. And in second place, this was a close one because this gaming edition did something that very few phones rarely do. But you know what? It's a really solid second place for this Poco F3. And considering this phone dipped only 13,000 points, 85% battery, which means a 15% drop compared to 23 on this phone, I think this is a solid score and this easily would be a winning result for this phone if it was not for the absolutely ridiculous result of this K40 gaming edition. I'm not exactly sure what to say about these results, but all I can tell you is that on test number four, we got the highest score of all the four scores for this phone. And this gaming edition actually increased its final score by 60,000 points. Now the battery drain was a little bit more significant, but still not too bad to 82% by the end of the test. And so your winner of this Antutu throttling test is the Redmi K40 Game Enhanced Edition. And I gotta say, despite not being able to get Google Apps on this phone, I can definitely say that this Dimensity 1200 is a powerhouse of a chipset, and I hope we do see this chipset on other phones in the future. But hit me up in the comments. Who do you think won this test? And what did you think of these surprising results with this Game Enhanced Edition? Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Thanks for all the messages. Guys, I am feeling much better today. You can probably hear it in my voice as well. I'm just doing a lot better. And of course, stay tuned for more great content, including my full review on this K40 Game Enhanced Edition. But thanks once again for all your support. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Slippery phones, man. They just can't keep still.